Hey guys, I think, yeah, okay, cool. This is recording, I've never done this before, so this is like new for me. Um, but I'm filming on my webcam and this is like a direct upload. If you're wondering where I am, I'm in my mom's room. Um, I've been having some technical difficulties, which I don't want to get into, but that's why I haven't been posting, if you're wondering. Um, and I'm not going to be posting a beauty video until I can do videos with my camera. Um, just because I would rather have, I would rather have to wait to have good videos up than have a bunch of bad quality videos go up. Especially because what I wanted to film was a lot of makeup tutorials and I don't want to do those in this quality. I really don't. Um but yeah so this is the quality that you're gonna get and this is a vlog so you guys are the first people to see me you guys my vlog channel subscribers who are some of my favorite subscribers not gonna lie um yeah so this is the first that you will be seeing of me anybody will be seeing of me since like three weeks ago two weeks ago three three weeks ago that's a long time for me to be away from youtube not gonna lie um i just wanted to apologize for my appearance i haven't gotten in the shower yet which is disgusting because it's like 12 30 but it's one of those days you know during the summer where you wear a t-shirt and your hair is greasy and frizzy and you have acne i'm breaking out so bad you guys and i actually generally have like really excellent skin but i'm breaking out really bad right now so i wanted to talk about camp and i wanted to guys i wanted to tell you guys all about it so i'm going to um i got nail polish on my hand but anyways i wanted to tell you guys about camp so um, it went really well. Some of you guys already know some of the details, those of you who show up to Tiny Chat. Um, one of the bigger details, which I'm not going to get to because I'm going to go like in chronological order, but there was a very special thing that happened at camp, and if you're friends with me on Facebook, or you follow me on Twitter, or you follow me on Daily Booth, or you go to Tiny Chat, then you already know, and you probably know what I'm talking about right now, but... Lots of you guys probably don't because there's like 200 of you following me on this channel and 200 of you don't follow me on Twitter, Daily Booth, Facebook, show up to Tiny Chat, that kind of thing. But, um, <clears throat> so camp. Um, we arrived, we got on the bus. Um, so I went to the church on s Sun Monday. I went to the church on Monday at about one o'clock and we all met there and we put down our bags I ran into my small group we hugged we talked we caught up with each other because we hadn't seen each other in like a few weeks um some of us some of them I hadn't seen in months and I was so excited to see them um so we got there we got all our stuff um Jeff was there at first it was kind of awkward for those of you who don't know Jeff is a guy that I've liked for a really long time um and there were some mutual feelings. A lot's happened with Jeff that I haven't even had the chance to tell you about. Um, but at the point of Monday afternoon, he was a guy who I knew liked me and I liked him a lot. And um, But it was kind of awkward because we didn't like see each other in person a lot. We kind of just talked like I am and stuff. Um, but yeah, so Jeff was a guy who I talked to via I am. I'm on Facebook right now and somebody's trying to talk to me and I hope it's nobody important. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so Jeff, um, we didn't really speak at all, um, to be honest before the bus, but then, um, we ended up sitting next to each other on the bus and that was cool. Um, it's always nice to sit next to guys that you like, you know, um, but yeah, so, um, on the bus, we just talked, um, developed a couple inside jokes, high speed service, 53 inches, um, and we had fun. I love talking to him. He's really easy to talk to and he makes me feel really comfortable. This was Monday. Um, so the bus ride was about two hours and then when we got there, um, we, we, they dropped us off at Racer Stadium, which is in Corvallis, Oregon on the campus of OSU, which is where the, um, camp took place. So I spent a week at a college, which was really cool. Um, and I'll talk more about how that was cool later in the video, I guess, um, but we got dropped off at Racer Stadium, the girls and the boys had to switch, Jeff was actually the only boy on our bus, the only one, which is hilarious, there was only one boy on the entire bus, so it was really awkward, the guy came up onto the bus and was like, are there any guys here, and there was only one, <laughs> so then he got on a separate bus, and we got on a separate bus, and they drove us to our respective buildings, which were kind of like across the campus, um, and so our building, if it matters to you in any way, was McNary, um, and so we were on the second floor of McNary, 
I don't feel like this is going to be any, like, personal information because I don't live anywhere near Corvallis or anything. Um, so we went to the second floor of McNary and we got in our dorms. And I wish I could insert pictures here, but I can't because I'm filming, like, I'm doing a direct upload. Um, but Mc the dorms were so cute. I stayed in a dorm with my friend Laurel, who is one of my best friends ever. I wish I could insert a picture. I'll have one in the bottom bar, okay? Um... But she's one of my best friends. I adore that girl. Like, she's amazing. Um, and she, we stayed in a dorm together. And it was, like, two beds, which were, like, loft beds. And underneath those were a dresser. And then there was a desk at the foot of the bed. And then across from that, there were two, um, like, big closets. And then in between, there was maybe, like, four feet. So there was not a lot of room. And I was so shocked. I didn't know dorms were that small. So it was just me and Laurel in a dorm. And then my whole small group was on the same floor. So it wasn't like we were far away from each other, but we didn't sleep together, which was weird for us. Because with most camps, you're kind of, like, in a dorm with a big group, like, 10 or 11 girls. And in this case, it was, like, two girls. Um, but me and Laurel had so much fun. We stayed up late-ish every night. And we got up early and took showers in the morning. So in the morning... Um, of Tuesday, which was my birthday, actually. Um, happy birthday to me. Tuesday, August 2nd, I turned 15 at 11.30 at night. Um, my birthday wasn't really any special, I, anything special. I didn't, like, wear a special outfit or anything. Um, but there were a few special things that happened because it was my birthday, and I will get into that. But it was also, like, the first full day of camp, so everybody was so, like, jazzed on the fact that it was the first full day of camp that nobody was like, oh, it's Carter's birthday, you know? Um, and it was also my brother's birthday because we're twins. Um, so, but it wasn't, like, a big deal, I guess. So, um, I'm curious if this will cut me off at any point, because I've never done this before. Uh, I'm going to close out of Facebook also. Okay, so, um, in the morning we got up, we took showers, we did our makeup. Um, if you're wondering what makeup I brought and what stuff I brought in general, I will link a video in the bottom bar to what I brought on my beauty channel. Um, and we, we went to breakfast. And, um, we ate in the cafeteria of the... OSU, like where the college students eat, and it's so cool. Uh, I want to be in a dorm and I want to go to college so bad. It's like crazy. Um, and so then right after breakfast, we went, well, not like right after, like there was a little bit of time in between, but pretty soon after breakfast, we went to the session, which is what they called it. Sometimes they call it chapel, sometimes they call it session, sometimes they call it forum even. They have weird names, but it's like the same thing. It's like a church service, but you go like twice a day at camp. This was a church camp, by the way, <laughs> through a company called CIY, which you can look up. They're so cool. Um, and the first thing that we did was called the morning show, and they did announcements, and they did some fun stuff, like games and stuff. It was really cool. There were, like, 800 kids there. It wasn't just my church. My church brought about 80 kids. Um, and so they did the morning show, which was about 15 minutes long, and then there was, like, an hour long I want to say service and the band was so good they were called um Nathan and the volunteers and you should totally look them up if you are into like church music because they were so good except I don't think that they're in the, like I don't know you could look up Nathan and the volunteers but I'm not sure what you'll come up with I don't know because I don't know if they're like always a band or if they were just a band for this but they were so good um and I really liked them um yeah, we saw them the night before too. We had session the first night, um, and then we had it again the morning, obviously. But the session the first night was kind of like, I don't know. It was like the first night, so it was a lot of rules and stuff. Um, but session in the morning was really good. It was the same pastor every morning, and he was really good. He was kind of like intense though. Like it was the most intense I'd ever had a pastor talk to me before and I think that's because it's like high school camp and high school camp is a lot different than middle school camp for me at least um the messages were more intense they expected more from you they expected you to know where you were going they didn't like you didn't have a leader around you all the time or anything like that um so I felt a lot like a freshman like I didn't know what I was doing and I kind of wanted a, wanted an adult there when there wasn't one but um it was very safe and the campus once you got used to it wasn't too big um but yeah, so the pastor that spoke, I forgot his name, but he was a good, and I liked him, and he was from Canada. Um, shout out to all my Canadian subscribers. This is already 10 minutes, and I am so amazed at any of you who are still watching. I know that this is going to be so long, but I don't care. Um, so then after the um, 
session we went to a time called engage where we got with our small groups and well we got by ourselves first and we um read a passage out of our bibles that they told us to and then there was some other stuff and some questions to answer and stuff like that um it was just supposed to be like a time to spend alone with god and praying and stuff um that's one of my favorite parts of camp the part where like at most camps at most church camps they'll have you go alone and have every day they'll have you spend some time alone with your bible um and that's one of my favorite parts you guys i know a lot of you guys were very focused on like the romantic things that I was doing at camp, but I think I grew more in my relationship with God than I did with my relationship with Jeff, um, but I did have a really good spiritual week as well as a good relationship-y type week, I guess. Um, me and Jeff did hung hang out, like, a lot. Um, it might not sound like it, though, but we did hang out a lot. We hung out as much as we possibly could, um, and there will be, I'll talk about Jeff not important just not important actually he is but whatever so um then the so then after we did like engage like by ourselves we got with our small group and we did um we talked to our leader whose name is linda and she's been my leader since october my small group leader and in a way me and linda have kind of had our ups and our downs i guess ish kind of like with me in my head not like with me and linda like fighting or anything but i love linda now um and i think that she's amazing and she's like She's an awesome small group leader, and she's so great. Um, and so we all got together as a small group. We were a big small group. There were, like, nine of us, I think, nine girls, and that's a lot. That's that's a lot. That's a big group. Um, but we all get along really well. There was no drama. There's never any drama with my small group. We all get along. A lot of us go to different schools, um, but we all, like, really, really get along. And it's so great because you don't find that a lot with teenage girls. You really don't. Um... But I'm glad that me and Laurel get, or me and Laurel and all the other girls in my small group get along so well. Me and Laurel are like really close though. Um, so after that, we um, after engage we went to lunch and lunch was fun. Um, the way that the cafeteria is set up is there's kind of like options like there's one like boardwalky type place it was called the boardwalk um, where you got like stir fry type food and then there was one with like burgers and fries and then one with like pasta and pizza i usually got pizza because the pizza was really good and so me and my small group and jeff and a couple of his friends um john and peter who we got really close with too at the camp um we all ate like outside in our own little area which is really cool because like like there was like a bunch of space inside to sit but like we got to sit together like outside kind of away from everybody which was really cool so I did eat with Jeff every meal, except for like a couple of meals when we sat with a small group, but most meals we sat together. Um, and his friends, he's like kind of an honorary member of our small group in a way, because he's really close friends with a bunch of the girls. He's not like just mine. He's like a bunch of ours. Like I met him through him being friends with the small group, so it's not like I brought him in, you know. They kind of brought him to me, I guess. Um, but we were hung hanging out a lot. Again, it was my birthday, so he promised me a hug. So at lunch, he gave me the hug, and it was really, like, a stupid hug. It was, like, lame. <laughs> but then after lunch, we had electives for the first two days, and we got to pick them. And we picked the one where we went and heard the band talk. And it was kind of not what we were expecting. They talked a lot about how to, like, get involved with worship as a job. Um... <sighs> And none of my small group, or, like, the majority of my small group isn't musically talented, myself included. I mean, you guys have heard me saying I'm not good. Um, so it didn't really apply to us, but it was great hearing them talk and getting to know them. Um, and they were really nice and fun, so I didn't have a problem with it, but it wasn't what we were expecting. Um, but yeah, so then afterwards, after the elective, which was about an hour, we had... I think it was an hour and a half, it might have been two and a half hours of free time. And during free time on the first day, I sat, we spent the whole time basically sitting in the empty dining hall. Um, it was me, Jeff, um, and we were holding hands, um, and my friend Mariah, who's in a different small group, and then a couple of members of our small group, um, but it was a fairly small group, and a couple of members of Jeff's small group too. So we were hanging out, and that was so fun, like, it was really fun. Um, and like me and Mariah talked a lot and got to know each other me and Mariah are really close now actually and I didn't know her before um but now we're like super close <laughs> I went and hung out at her house recently um and she's like funny and adorable and I love her I really do we we are so like similar it's kind of ridiculous we like have the same like ideas about things sort of like we think we see the world the same way which I don't get often you know a lot of people see the world differently than I see it 
a lot of people. So then, 